Hey, welcome back everyone. Today, uh, this session now is number session 10. I hope everybody's been enjoying the, um, the virtual open house. And now we're actually gonna make another card and it's the uh, Pixie Sparkle card. Uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, basic uh, demonstration first of the Pixie Sparkles, and then we'll get into the actual making of the card. Uh, most of you probably may have uh, seen the card and see, or seen how the Pixie Sparkles work and may have already tried them. We've got some great deals on the, on the Pixie Sparkles, as well as the complete set of eight. There's a special uh, package of all eight at a discounted price as well. So um, if you really like what we can do with them because they can be used in many different ways, I think it's a great uh, opportunity to get all eight of the Pixie Sparkles. We also have just the regular Pixie Powders. Pixie Sparkles, the difference between the Pixie Sparkles and the Pixie Powders, just for your information is the Pixie Sparkles Sparkles include sparkle and mica, as well as the color. So you're getting a, two wow factors in your Pixies background sparkles. And, and with the mica, so you get that metallic look, the shiny look plus the sparkle. And our Pixie powders are just full of mica. So what it does, it gives you that metallic, that bright look, uh, that shimmering look, but without any of the sparkle. So you can combine the two or you can use each one separately. They both still have a great effect on how you can create the backgrounds and using them in a very uh, many different ways from painting to watercolor to backgrounds. And, and, uh, and then you can cut them out and using with your, once you've got your die cut paper, you can either emboss it or as well as use die cuts with it. So very versatile, very unique. Each time you use your Pixie Sparkles, you're actually creating a new color, a new combination, something new and different. It's very, um, it's very hard to kind of duplicate it, especially once you start mixing and matching them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go through some of, the, some of the aspects of the Pixie Sparkles, and then we'll get on to making the card. So we're just gonna to go to the, uh, my overview of my hands right now, and then we're gonna be getting with the rest. So I'm just moving over. Now you see my great big hands. Here we are uh, working with them. Now with the Pixie Sparkles, they come in a great uh, container, very narrow ended because it's a very fine powder with the mica and the sparkles. And you just tip it over. You uh, gently kind of squeeze and tap at the same time because you want some general coverage of the different uh, sparkles and pixie on your papers. And you can either spritz them, spritz the paper before, just a little spritz bottle with water in it, spray bottle. And you just spritz it over the top and the paper, all of a sudden it bursts back into color because you don't really see it. And you just spray it around and every little drop of the color is now being activated and it's causing it to now bleed, bleed or blend into the paper. And what we can do is we can actually take another color and we can just tap a more, a little bit more around the, the paper, give a little squirt here and there. And you can make these very color specific to the backgrounds that you're looking to do. And we can either uh, just respray it a little bit more. So see now the blues and the purples and the lovely bursts of color come through. I think uh, I'm gonna add some more color to it. And this is the purple affair. And we'll just shake a little bit of this on, keep blending the different colors. And you can see because I've already spritzed it a little bit, you're getting some activation already. So just spritz it a little bit more just to activate that color. I'm going to try, um, let's get a little bit of a green if we have, uh, yeah, here's a green color. Uh, just to bring out some of the greens in here too. Whoops, it's just kind of puff, puffing out here and we're getting some nice looks. Uh, I'll put that back and once we get it sprayed up, I can then show you, see it's coming together. You can leave your paper flat, or you can, uh, if you do see it starting to bend, uh, a great tip, as you can see now, I'm not sure if you see it, but we're starting to get that iridescent, that, that metallic colored look with the actual sparkles too. So it's a perfect background. Uh, what you can do is you can actually spritz them a little bit more with, oh, I, just, I just pulled off the lid little too hard there. And you can actually really wet it. And then with your watercolor brush, you can actually take it and blend it. 
and look at how those colors just blend well together. But at the same time, you're getting a really solid metallic background. And this will create a very lovely look for um, when, if you're cutting out a die and you wanted to have that particular background on with your die cut or your, um, your embossing folder too, to create it. So you can just keep brushing it in, blending it in if you want that um, solid look, or you can create that spritzing type look as well, of course, as we've been doing it. Now, what we will be introducing is uh, later this uh, summer, probably in the month of July, early August, we have some new colors coming in. And I happen to have a couple of here that I would like to show you as well. And these are more Christmas colors. So we've got this new red oxide, it's called, and it's a deeper red. It will really give off some nice deep red color, uh, burgundy colors for your uh, Christmas card. So you can blending with the greens and the reds. Let's get a little more spray here. You can see how now that brings all that paper, all those reds right out. And especially if it was a solid piece of paper, you're going to get a, a really nice, um, a nice deep burgundy color. And the last one I have is a new color. Again, that we've got uh, as a sample one here is the um, blue wash. So it's a little darker blue that will move up. I've been told I gotta move along a little faster here. We've got lots to cover today and I don't wanna take up all your time just showing off some demonstrations of the product. So we'll start making the card, but you can just see. So, I mean, look at all the colors, how they blend so well together and how we've got a great background page now. So we'll set that aside. I'm not sure if you can see all the sparkle in the metallic, but it certainly will be a beautiful background that will be able to use for embossing, cutting, or, um, or just using as your uh, base for your, uh, for your card. We have another, uh, some other ones that we've done uh, using a stencil. So we've got this particular stencil, and then we created that we laid the stencil down and we recreated this pattern. So it can still give you that flowery, that burst, that that color that will allow you to then have a wonderful background for your card as well, or your scrapbook page or DIY project. So um, now that we've got that taken care of, I will then move along to show you some of what we've done with some backgrounds on finished cards, and then we'll make our the one that we have. So we've done some with the, with the blue teal wash, with a beautiful different background, uh, giving you that uh, underwater look very soft, very subtle, but still very nice. And then we've done this particular look too. Again, more of the underwater, you can kind of just, I mean, I can see it, of course, I see the metallic look and the, and the iridescentness of that blue, but with the, uh, as the underwater look, but isn't that cute with a slimline card? Certainly is lovely. Now we will uh, begin our card. So if everybody wants to get their Oh, sorry, yes. If the paper curls, I just had that little tip and you've got, a, you've got your paper and I laid it flat. So if you, if you leave it flat, it works really well because it won't actually curl around. But if sometimes you have paper, it's a little thinner, you actually can just spritz it from the back and that will actually make it curl the other way, of course. And so it counteracts the, the curl effect. And then when it dries, you've got a solid sheet of paper or a, a, a non-curled paper. So I'm just gonna put that aside. I, I would really love to see how I, if I use some die cuts to really make some really unique pictures with that. So now we are going to work with our um, kit. So if everybody can grab their different cards if they wanna follow along with the make and take. Um, so the piece that we're going to work with is the, um, is a green sheet and we're going to put a little bit of the uh, kit powder that you have. Um, I believe it's this one. Carrie showed it to me. Here we go. Let's see if we can so this is our finished card that, that you may have seen or may not have seen, but this is the finished card that we're going to be creating. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the pixie, pixie sparkles here in the corner 
and we'll spritz them just to give you that little pop of a background. Uh, you can do the whole, all of it if you like. Uh, uh, we're just kind of doing about two thirds of the card and leaving the other third so that the peacock itself um, stands out a little more. So let's uh, take our, uh, I just gotta find, I have all these open here. I think it's the blue teal. So again, just gradually take it, spray. You can either spritz a little bit of water ahead of time. Sometimes that helps get it, uh, to get to activate it first. There you go. See, look at the color burst onto the paper. So yeah, you can see my mine is starting to uh, just uh, curl a little. So I'm just gonna flip it over there. Just do a little spray on the back. Mine is kind of watery. It might take a second to dry. So I think while that is, uh, while that is working on drying, uh, yeah, I got a little extra water there. But again, everything kind of comes together once all the, once all the, once the, once you have created your card, just looking for a tissue just to dab it on. Do we have any water, any tissues here? No. Right, thank you. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. And we'll just let this one, I'm just gonna dab a little bit. This is where my card parch is going anyways. So we're just gonna set that aside and then we can build the rest of the pieces. Um, so we have our, our base card part. There's our base card. And then we're going to layer it with our uh, craft paper. So we've just taped it on the back so we can remove that piece. Remove your tape. So we're, we're layering it into different pieces. And the layers effects is just really nice. So what it does is just give you that every piece just stands out a little bit more. I know Sue did a lot of that in her demonstrations too. She likes to layer them up and it just provides that extra pronounced effect of your card. So we're looking about, about an eighth of an inch or a couple of millimeters off to the, uh, on the outside edge of the card. There we are. So we've got that piece and then we'll take, mine is still kind of drying here. I think I over watered it, so to speak, but it's, uh, it's coming along. It has a nice pronounced effect and we'll just let that dry for a minute because we could actually make our envelope. Uh, you've got that die cut done already. The envelope is from the envelope die that you received with the die that you received in your kit. Um, again, when you cut it out, it already has pre-scored pieces and then you just fold it over and tape the one side, one edges down uh, together to hold it into place. Um, I've already got some tape on mine, so I'm just going to peel those off and that way we can uh, get our envelope made. Sometimes, sometimes a little piercing tool helps and helps you able to grab that paper from the top of the tape, from the double-sided. Uh, mine is, uh, oh, I think I got it. There we are. I'm sorry, people. That's just, there we go. So then we fold it over and we just create it. It creates a beautiful envelope. I mean, you can even, this would be great for Christmas with little gift tags if you like to use them or you know even uh, even as a little uh, envelope to use for your um, as a little gift I mean or, or put a little money or a little you can even use a little gift card it could sit up like we're, we're, we'll be putting it our little sentiment in there but you can make it as a little gift card too and you'd be able to slip that right in the envelope and present it to that uh, for, that very fortunate person that you're giving it to it just kind of finishes off a little bit than sometimes just a regular old gift card. I mean, the gift card is nice, but I mean, the presentation. So we're just going to then take our um, spritz piece of Pixie Sparkles. Uh, we've got tape again on the back and we'll paste this down now onto our card that we've got.
So I hope everybody's enjoying their time and we really appreciate everyone coming out and spending another day with us, another few hours. So we've got lots of, lots of, of up and coming uh, projects to do. So I just wanted to let you know that Kaylee unfortunately had to leave for the rest of the day. She had a bit of a family emergency. She's all fine, but she's had to leave for the rest of the day. So you're going to be getting some extra guest spots by Emily, Anita, and Matt will all be joining you this afternoon and myself. And then again, at the three o'clock hour, we have Lucy Campano coming in from Australia to um, give us a good idea of this, the new alcohol markers that we'll be getting, plus the um, alcohol inks. And then we'll be talking more to Lucy about that uh, it, around at the three o'clock hour. Now that we've got that taped on, we're going to then take the little foam tabs, apply those to the back of your envelope, and then just remove the little foam pieces so that, or the little sticky piece, uh, white pieces so that we can get that glued on to our center of our card. Maybe not quite the center, just a little bit up. And see, it just sits there lovely in the middle. Um, we can then create the, you can almost do anything with your sentiment. Like I said, you could actually use a gift card. I think somebody would be pretty impressed if you put a, um, a different type of card in there from Home Depot, LCBO, uh, Starbucks, you name it. I mean, it would just slip in there and it would be pretty impressive that they receive that in this type of envelope card. Um, I know when we were speaking, I was speaking with Kaylee this morning. She said, if we wanted just to highlight the um, card itself, just to give it a little more, not just white, but we want to pop it a little bit. We could actually use uh, some of our, one of our polishes. I've got the yellow here in my hand and we just gently go across it um, just to give it a little bit of color and add a little bit more um, dimension to the overall card. It doesn't have to be fully colored in because we're, we're, we want to use it kind of, kind of, it's kind of like the, when we use the spritzing part of it, it doesn't have to be all over perfectly. You can, but not, I'm not going to do that. And then, so it's like this, and we're just going to kind of give it that little, just a little color. It doesn't have to be that. And then there's all kinds of things. You could stamp a sentiment in it. You could take one of your essentials rub-ons that you have. There's all kinds of different sayings there to, um, to put in the middle. And so we've got uh, sending you some of the, so we can just slip this out. We've got that in the middle there, sending you some sunshine based with the yellow on the background. And then we can just take again from our, from our book, everybody's got their book and my favorite crafting book, which is really quite uh, quite unique book. It has so much available and we can actually put some of the different aspects into it and layer them on top. Um, I'm kind of liking, here's another peacock that really kind of blends in with some of the colors that we've chosen to use with the card. So I've got this one I'm just pulling out and there. And the books are from Studio Light. We've got many different ones to, uh, to work with to give you all the different papers, cutouts, uh, everything to be used in, in many different ways. And we can kind of just have that go there. I just have to get the phone tabs. And that. Get these out here. I don't want to take up too much of your time for this part of it, but I do want to complete the card. Everybody asks me, hey, Dennis, do you ever make these cards? And I said, well, I do at some times. And here you are, you get to see what I'm actually doing the card. But a lot of the time, of course, I'm in the background making sure that we've got all these great products for everybody to play with. Uh, that's really kind of my job. And we've got some great designers as well as Kaylee, Anita, uh, Jennifer now, everybody working on some different cards and uh, to, uh, to make. And just kind of put them there, kind of finishes that off. And I just need something up here. Um, there's a couple of different, maybe I can actually just put, I see something here that just might finish it off. 
and then we will I'll put another little put a little bird over here. That way we've got it kind of balanced and away we go. But really with these crafts, as well as the book and the pixie sparkles, you can do so much with them. You have such a great opportunity to be creative. Uh, I guess you really, you're limited only within your imagination. And that's really what crafting is all about, is having fun and re reducing those, just diving in and enjoying crafting. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how quickly the time goes. So there, everyone, um, that kind of concludes our session of uh, working with session number 10, working with the Pixie Sparkles. Um, again, we have the set of eight. There's eight lovely colors on sale at the present time. Get all eight, and that way you're, you'll have all of them available in your collection to work with. I'm going to, we're just going to pause it now, and then we'll have Matt jump in uh, with his card. So thank you again, and we'll talk to you again soon.